surrender to the rush of day when the heat of the Quick hello to everyone, Dito, before we go oh, head out on our walk. Dito. 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 How awesome is this, eh? Isn't this just beautiful? Yeah. Tomorrow morning, wake up time, it's quarter past five. Then as Rulan say that there is someone who will come and say, hey, hello, 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 hello. Please respond when he came to you and say hello. Then he will give you some warm water on the basin. That warm water on the basin is for you just to wipe your windscreen before you come to the table. Because around six, if it is possible, we we'll have to go out. And this is Rolo. Rolo yes. now. My uh, question for you is what is the one important thing we need to take from your your instructions about the walk tomorrow? Uh, yeah, the very, very important rule is when we come across with the dangerous situations, you have to listen to the instructions from the rangers. Yes. And then we're expecting you to, to do as quickly as possible. Okay, and uh, are we going to hear lots of animals out here? Uh, yes, and even now if you can hear it, you can hear the jackals making noise. Uh, it might be happen we hear the lions, there's lots of lions around the areas, and the hyena too. Okay, we'll uh, check up with you later on in the experience. And yes. uh, hope to have a good walk. So okay, nice thank to you. meet you. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, we're here with our second guide. Mm -hmm. The first guide. Okay, the first guide. Number one, number one guide. Number one ranger. This is uh, David. David, can you tell us about the setup at Sweeney? So, how many people are working here, and what's what's your role? Um, no, we have got uh, five staff, which is uh, two rangers and two assistants and chef. And but I can make it to six just because we also have. Uh, Another lady that also relieved James. Where we've got this, it's a six of us. But James is a chef. Rulani and Job are the two assistants. And David, which is me, and also Obed. Both, of my, both my, myself and Obed were the trace ranger of Sweeney. But we've got a lady which is a, a Amu or Amkelani, okay. which is also a relief. Uh, chef that will, will mostly relieve uh, James when James go for the off. Okay. Yes. And what is your and Rollo's job? Um, us? myself and Rolano we work as a team just because sometimes it's in, it's my assistants. Then uh, if I'm not uh, feeling well, he lead also the work. Okay. If, yeah. Then uh, if I'm feel uh, or maybe if he has just found that uh, today. Uh, I'm a bit weak, uh, or my eyes are not working well. He also did well. He have got all those the same uh, qualification that I have. It's just a matter of the position. The only thing that also differentiates myself and Roland, but all of us we have got the same qualification and for leading. Yes, I do lead, but also him. If I'm not around here, if we have got a shortage of manpower, 
Rulani is because he has the same uh, uh, qualification. He can also lead the, the trace. Okay. All right. So yeah. we're just here with uh, Mark and Bridget. First night of the um, Swinney Trail walk experience. Um, Mark, what would you like to get out of this uh, experience? Alive. Alive. <laughs> Firstly, I'd like to have two proper shoes that I can walk in because I've got a bit of a problem with the one shoe, but I've <laughs> stuck it together. So that'll be the first point that I'll be able to walk in some great shoes. Okay. After that, I definitely want to encounter some cat life as close as possible. Um, I'd like to learn more about the spoor, spoor identification, so that my knowledge broadens on that. And also some bird life. I'd love to learn more about birds. Um, so that would be my initial sort of goals. goals. Huh? But that's yes, that's just. No. And just a nice experience with some nice family and nice stories. We're only here for two, two days of walking, here. Oh, only two? Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. So, so we're, we're not living here. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. But yeah, okay. that's just the first night of an interview, if I can give you that. It might change, but I mean, that would be the first. Okay, we might get an update later on. Update with Okay, we joined here with uh, Bridjo and uh, settled down after coming into camp today. Yep. First day. Yep. Easy. Um, first off, how are you feeling? Like, yeah, I'm okay. Okay, she, I'm uh, okay. For those of you who don't know, she had a little bit of a rough start to uh, the experience. But uh, we're here to find out what you would like to gather and gain from the Sweeney Trail. I'd like to just, you know, get back to nature, get back to the root of this beautiful world with the animals and the rangers who I'm sure will be very entertaining and educational. Okay. Looking forward to that. Perfect. Uh, we hope you feel better and uh, enjoy your experience. Thank you. Oh, you too. So we joined you with Keaton. <laughs> um, Keaton, what would you uh, what would you like to experience from the Sweeney Trail? I would like to develop my understanding of the bush and my relationship with my family and my friends. Okay, that's a very interesting answer. And um, what animal are you most scared of in the, uh, the wild? My mother. Yeah, Bridget. Um, look, I have no fear, <laughs> if I'm being honest with everyone and myself. So, nothing. I mean, spiders. That's, uh, that's good news. Uh, fun fact, um, much to Keaton's disbelief, he's actually got a huge irrational fear of uh, spiders. It's so. Crippling. <laughs> Maybe we can find a couple for him to uh, mm. get over that fear this trip, eh, Keaton? Mm. Easy to stomp, though, so... So we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Tonight, I'm also joined with uh, Carmen. Um, so we've got a few questions for you tonight. Um, what are you looking to get from this uh, experience? Oh, I just want to really, really just take Yes, the guy is the most important person in camp. Shh, I'm doing some interviews over here. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Or just please, take, please go on. Take it all in, take this experience in. What an amazing experience. I've always had a love for the bush, but this is just next level. Um, and I'm hoping to reignite the knowledge that I gained on my course a few years ago and just spend some time getting to know the bush at a okay. grassroots level and spending time with you wonderful people as well. Thank you. Creating memories. Uh, quick fun fact, uh, Carmen's actually a Fugasa Level 1 certified field guide, I believe. So uh, hopefully we'll be testing her along the way. <laughs> okay, uh, we're joined here by Dieter Ebeling. Dieter, what would you like to get uh, from the Swinney Trail walk experience? Hi, Cade. Apart from the togetherness with our beautiful family members here, I would like to lose my mind and I'd like to find my soul. Okay, and are there any particular animals you're wanting to come across? Every animal that we come across will be special. Thank you. Camp's, uh, camp's now woke up and there's an air of excitement and anticipation for the walk. 
Kidden uh, told me that he uh, didn't sleep too well last night just because of the adrenaline running through his veins and how he was excited uh, to get up this morning. So uh, let's see how this goes. Quick update on the landy in the morning before uh, we get dropped off for our walk. Honey Badger got into a few of the uh, Mark's beers last night. Sorry, Mark, you're gonna have to ration for the rest of the trip. Oh no, and, what can I uh, share with Keaton? <laughs> we'll uh, see how it goes. Okay, uh, we're just here with uh, Dita after the first morning. The walk this morning was exceptional. We saw so much game and uh, to be able to witness that on foot and cover enough ground to see such a large variety of animals. The uh, highlight being when we got to the plain where we had the rhino with the, with the calf and uh, elephant, hyena, giraffe, impala, wildebeest, and uh, a variety of other animals just all congregated on this plain. And uh, when we uh, went into the riverbed and we found that elephant that uh, hadn't seen us, um, so, you know, he hadn't moved on. He was a beautiful elephant. Um, that was the highlight. And then walking back to the vehicle and, uh, you know, going back to camp and having a really hearty meal and then a little bit of a rest before uh, our next walk, which is about to occur. And uh, we'll end up with sundown and somewhere on the, on the range in the beautiful Kruger Park. So today was a flawless day. I can only say it was five star top shelf all round. Uh, in terms of uh, how things can be in the bush, so looking forward to the next adventure. Okay, and uh, after our uh, group's performance this morning on the walk, uh, if we have to make a decision to leave somebody behind to save the rest, who uh, who's the weakest link in your eyes? Me. Okay. I and, would uh, sacrifice myself. Sacrifice yourself, okay, that's a, that's a good call because there's a couple other group members who've also identified you. Okay, good. And, so um, I'll, I'll draw, draw the short straw for this. Yeah, it would be purpose. my honor. But, Thank you. Uh, it's been an amazing group and everyone's fitness levels are, are, you know, really good. So, you know, today we, we just kept on walking and walking and uh, everybody was up for it and uh, everybody kept the pace. And, uh, you know, that's important for something like this to be a success. So the group was uh, really, really there for it and really well prepared. So I'm okay. delighted with, uh, with uh, how it's all gone. That's good. Um, uh, thanks for catching up with me and hopefully we'll uh, catch up with you later on in the, uh, the journey. Thank you, Kato. Thank you. Learned a lot from our guides, David and Rolo. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, after the group's performance this morning, who's, uh, who's the weakest link and able to do sacrifice or <laughs> if necessary? To be left at the back of the queue. Yeah. We get to the But somebody has put you up for uh, As the week is sale so far. So ah, if, uh, you can how rude. Out. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to have to say, uh, don't like saying it, but maybe poor Keaton. I'm struggling a bit with his back. Okay, Keaton. Yeah. Um, my personal opinion <laughs> probably have to be uh, Mark. I mean, his performance on the walk wasn't necessarily that bad, but just overall in general, Last night didn't pack up well with uh, a couple of beers for the honey badger. 
and uh, I think he can uh, he can be sacrificed for that. Sacrificed, yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you for catching up with us, and uh, hopefully yeah. we'll catch up later. Thanks, Kate. So uh, we've just managed to, to catch up with Bridget after the morning walk. This morning we got up at about 5.15, got woken up, had a coffee and rice for breakfast, and then headed out for about four and a half hours. So tell us a little bit about the walk we did this morning. It's been an amazing walk. We've seen plenty of gates, really exciting, and a variety of gates, some of it quite close up. Um, we walked at a hard pace, it's a good, good day out in the hot sun. Okay, good. Uh, we saw lots of animals this morning. We got to uh, one stage on the walk where we got out into this open field and there was giraffe, elephant, baboon, zebra, wildebeest, impala and it was just uh, quite hyena. something. Hyena as well. Um, after the uh, performance this morning from our crew, uh, who do you think is the weakest link and uh, deserves to be sacrificed? No, I don't think anybody deserves to be sacrificed. Okay, uh, in my personal opinion, I think our uh, first sacrificial limb has probably got to be Keaton. Uh, he probably couldn't keep up with the pace as much as he wanted to, didn't do as much training as he needed to, and uh, he complained about his back, so uh, he's, uh, he's the weakest link from uh, the morning walk in my eyes. Okay, yeah. thank you so much. Please, sir. Bye. Can you explain the dynamic between you and your partner and how you manage to manage all the situations, track all the animal and decide where to go? <laughs> yeah, um, myself and my colleague, uh, before we, 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 we depart from the camp, we decide where to go and where to find the, the animals. So we, we come out so we just, uh, that the way we're going to find the animals is where there's water holes. So we decided to come today this site a beautiful area, there's a beautiful rocks, and again, uh, because there's a couple of water holes in between, so we know that and then we might find something. So definitely when we, we, we drive coming this side and then we saw lots of tracks of lions that was walking along the road, and then we tried to track them and then we didn't find it, suddenly we decided to come down here, we find a breeding herd of buffaloes up to more than 200 of them. And then now we're sitting here on the sundowner, having some cokes. <laughs> Perfect. And who decides who leads and walks where and does what with the group? Yeah, David is the one that is decide. But yeah, um, before I take uh, uh, the, the last decision and then he even consult with me. Okay. Yeah. So it works. Uh, he comes to a decision, but then he verifies it with you. For sure. And then we work as a team. So uh, we're sitting here with uh, Keaton, finally managed to catch up with him on the end of day one. So uh, we've been through two walks uh, today, seen a lot of animals. Any uh, thoughts so far on the Kruger experience? Uh, it's been amazing, obviously. Uh, not as daunting as I thought it would be, except those 200 buffalo were quite a sight. Had me on my toes a little bit. Other than that, it was all smiles. Uh, so. Uh, if uh, you haven't seen, we've got uh, 200 buffalo in the afternoon walk and uh, we've probably got about 30 metres. Mm. Yeah. It's quite close on foot for them and uh, they were just below us, uh, maybe even closer. Um, based on the group's performance today, um, if we had to get into a situation where we had to sacrifice somebody, who do you think uh, the weakest link would have to be? It's going to be a tough one. Um... I know he brings in the money, but Dad, you got to go. Um, you've had a nice run, 55 is a good age too. 55? Oh, either yeah. Either one, yeah, either way, he's done. Okay. Uh, Bridget Cook, so we need her around, yeah. All right, so, so sorry, Dita, if, uh, you've got a few votes, and uh, looks like uh, 
you've, uh, the you've, weakest you've, link. You've just got another one, so uh, we'll see how it all tallies up and uh, who's going to be the sacrifice in uh, the next few walks. Um, well, thank you for catching up with me, Keaton. Right, thanks for having me on your show. And uh, hopefully we'll uh, catch up with you soon again. Cheers. We've, uh, we've just been woken up on uh, day two. It's uh, 5.20 in the morning. Had a pretty good night's sleep last night, but lots of animals again. We had lions throughout the night. And uh, looking forward to what the day brings. Every morning when you wake up, you get greeted with your bucket of warm water. And you can use this to splash your face, wake yourself up before you head out on the morning walk. So uh, just before we've headed out, we've uh, heard some lions call. Our guides are now deciding what's the best plan of action. See if we can maybe get on foot and uh, find these guys. And uh, I get the perception we're probably going to leave from camp this morning. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, we're walking out of camp this morning. As you can see, camp's out there, on the left-hand side. So a um, quick update from this morning, uh, we went out for about four or five hours and um, our guides were determined to find us some lions. So they spent a good two, three hours tracking, going through the bush, we crossed the tracks probably two k's in and we spent the next eight k's tracking these lions down. After, uh, after about two hours our guides thought we'd lost them and decided that it was enough time to head back and go for a breakfast. As we came down through the riverbed, we stumbled across a lone male. We got to probably about three meters of him. We could hear him growling and he was hiding in the thicket there. Our guides got a little bit cautious with it and moved us slowly around and all the way across. But it was quite an experience being with within throwing distance of this male lion and uh, just being on foot. Okay, we're uh, just at sunset on the last day. Um, got to see some elephant on this last walk. It's been quite an experience coming down to uh, the Kruger National Park for Sweeney. Carmen, do you have any thoughts? I've just spotted some more giraffe. She's spotted some more giraffe. <laughs> for those of you who haven't been following, Carmen can see giraffe from anywhere. She's uh, she's been exceptional at uh, spotting giraffe, and uh, the giraffe whisperer. She's uh, she's doing pretty well for that. Um, we're uh, missing uh, one family member from the Ibelings, so a uh, quick shout out to Savannah. Yeah. Hey, Sav. And um, Savannah, we've thought of you often during this Savannah, journey. Savannah, wish you were here. And uh, we really have missed having you here with us in this epic experience that we've just had. And uh, shout out to Mark Carmen's three little youngsters. Oh yeah. Maybe uh, maybe next time we'll uh, see you guys around. Yeah, Absolutely. they'll definitely join us. Hey kids, we'll take you along next time. Don't miss us. <laughs> and uh, on our right hand side, we've got our guides. There's uh, Rollo and David's down there somewhere. Davo. Davo. Uh, we're just sitting up here. I'll uh, show you guys in a second for a beautiful sunset. Um, it's been quite an experience this. And uh, I think everybody from our team would definitely recommend if you have the opportunity to go into a walk. Um, and a big thank you to our guides. They've uh, done exceptional, uh, far exceeded my expectations. Um, they can hear better than I can see, which is quite worrying, but uh, I'm sure I can get over that at some point. And uh, this is the place we're at for the final evening.
going uh, going to bed on the final night of the Sweeney Trail. It's been an amazing experience. Spent the last two, three nights sleeping in a two by two with just a little bit of thatch above us, walking through the bush every day, morning and evening, seeing lots of animals. It's been an amazing experience. Uh, things to consider is uh, fitness level and understanding of what you're actually getting yourself into. We were 20 meters away from big five animals and just, yeah, immersed ourselves in the bush. Really had a good experience with it. And uh, it's probably not something I'd recommend for anybody who's new to the bush or doesn't understand what's, uh, what's out there and what it's like. But um, if you're looking for a good experience to sort of get back to your soul, I know that sounds a little bit cliche, but you really get away from technology, get away from the hustle and bustle of Joburg and busy life and can really experience what the bush has to offer by going on these wilderness trails. There's nothing like walking, finding animals and just getting so close to these big five animals knowing that there's so much danger but being in such a protective mind state from having such good guides and just a trust in what they're capable of and how they read and understand situations. Animal that keeps drinking milk for the rest of their lives. We'll see if we can get a quick interview. She, she's anti-interviews but we'll hopefully get one. We've, uh, we've managed to catch Carmen at a uh, good time. She can't get away. So uh, can you give us your thoughts on the uh, Sweeney Trail experience, please? Oh, that was, it's definitely the only way to see the Kruger now. Um, yeah, uh, it was fantastic. It was an amazing experience. I learned so much um, from the guides, from Dave, David, Davo and Rolo. And uh, yeah, I just had a wonderful experience. Um, Legs are a bit sore this morning, but yeah. yeah. I'll cope. <laughs> I mean, we uh, we did do quite a bit of uh, walking. I think about what 15 to 20 k's a day. Yep. Yeah. So uh, definitely get onto that fitness if you're looking at uh, getting on the trail. What was uh, what was your highlight of uh, all the animals we saw? Um, I, I, can't, I I really enjoyed seeing the plains, full of all different types of animals. Yep. Um, zebra and parla, rhino. Um, even hyena in the background, yep. giraffe, obviously, <laughs> yep. um, and elephant. It was that was fantastic, but um, the thrill of hearing that lion um, growling was was quite phenomenal. I don't think yeah, I don't think many people get to hear that and live to tell the tale. To be honest, yeah. So. We're uh, we're just here uh, with uh, Bridget Ebling after the Kruger Sweeney Trail experience. Uh, what are your final thoughts? What did you gather from it? How did you feel? What was your most exciting moment? Did you let us know? There were very many exciting moments. Um, I think the lion must have been the most exciting, coming across the lion. Um, hearing a lion growl like that, I've never heard that sound before. Um, and uh, the whole experience was just amazing. Um, our ranges were fantastic. They were such a team. They were so complementary of each other. It was fascinating to witness. Um, felt very safe in their hands. Um, I'd recommend the Sweeney Trail or any trail in the Kruger to anybody. I really think you should try and get it done. And um, the company was fantastic. Having Marco and Carmo with us, uh, it was terrific. And um, Hats off to Dad who arranged this all. Really wonderful, wonderful experience. We've uh, we've managed to catch uh, Keaton here. So uh, Keaton, if you could give us a quick overview of uh, your experience at, um, at Sweeney. Sweeney. Kruger Kruger. and the Sweeney Trail experience. Look, uh, it was pretty amazing. Uh, hard to put into words. Um, so that's it. <laughs> Uh, what was your favourite part? <laughs> My favourite part was coming across the line, having a growl at us, for sure. That was pretty amazing. Pretty scary. Pretty scary. Come on, we're, uh, we're all just... 
coming out here on the last morning. And we'd all just like to say bye bye, Sweeney! He does solo ones in his bungalow. All right, uh, finally. Shut that's bright. We're uh, joined here with Keaton Ebling. Keto. Keto. Oh, sorry, Keto for the trip. Keaton's fine. Clayton over here. Clayton's um, better. Clayton, oh, sorry, Keaton. Uh, what would you like to experience on this uh, Swinney Trail trip in the wild? Next question, please. <laughs> Uh, we uh, we believe that uh, Keaton doesn't doesn't know what he wants to experience. We'll be right back, <laughs> and uh, we'll get back to you guys we'll shortly. Break. <laughs> Sorry about that. We uh, we joined you with Keto on the uh, Sweeney Trail experience. Keto, is there anything you would like to gain from this once in a lifetime experience? Um, a bit of weight. Sorry. Anyway. <laughs>